Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Just stopping by to share a process video using the beautiful hip kit. June kit, sorry, like June, July, they get mixed up for me. So I'm here using the June kits. Now, the reason why I'm getting a bit muddled up is that my July kit has just arrived and I am super busting to get into it. But I want to share this one process video with you before I start creating with that. Now, I was challenged by the team to create a layout just using the elements in the main kit. So if you're a subscriber to the Hip Kit Club and only get the main kit, you can create what I am this layout that I'm making here today. So I had this idea in my head that I really wanted to use these big elements that are available in the main kit. And part of going big, I thought I'd have a play around with using some big letters um, and my silhouette. So just using the impact font in my silhouette software. So it's just a standard font that's built into your, you know, your word processing um, word processing thing on your computer. It's just a stock standard font. I typed out the word create and in my head I was thinking that I was going to use, um, take the letters out and put them aside and not use them on this layout and use the back, the, the piece that was cut out of for my layout. But as I was playing with it and sort of feeling it out, I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use those really spectacular letters and that beautiful ombre uh, colour effect just really jumped out at me. And I had this wonderful photo here of a special memory of me scrapbooking with uh, some, some of my local scrapbooking ladies and I just thought, oh, this, these colours were matching perfectly. So I've just used, um, this layer is created using 90% of the beautiful Vicky Booten products that, that were available in the kit. Now, the one thing with the Vicky Booten is that she loves to create big, punchy, bold elements in her in her designs and in her products. And sometimes I find that really challenging uh, to use because I like those little intricate little details on my layouts. But I thought I'm just going to really step outside my comfort zone and see if I can pull this together using these larger elements and me still feel happy that um, these larger elements aren't going to take over my layout. And I think I nailed it. I really love this layout. Once it all came together, I really fell in love with it. And so I, I guess I'm just overcoming my fear of using those big embellishment features there. How great are the colours? Vicky seems to nail it with these really strong colours that sometimes I find a little bit intimidating because I tend to go to more the pastels. But when you're putting a layout together like this, you can see that it really starts to work. Now that piece that I've got on the bottom there, that was a piece out of the packaging. I think that was backing on to the ephemera pack with all those beautiful large elements there. And I thought, look, it's a beautiful background. It's going to help uh, bring all this colour together. And so I thought I'd just back my photo in that. So I'm just using a standard 6x4 photo for this layout and I've just printed it out with a white border. So that saved me having to mat my photo um, a second time. I was just able to print that and I knew that I had that space around it um, to, to cope with having that little border and still leaving me with a 6x4 format that is really easy to use. So here I am, I'm just playing around with these letters and trying to sort of make them fit um, so that they're not too uh, squished together, but they, they well, it's a, I'm just trying to find that balance of, um, you know, setting them out so it's not going to sort of look too squished and that you can really still see the word create out of it. So I just adhered just using some wet glue there to the, the bottom half of the word and then I'm just adding some foam there to help rise that whole cluster up uh, onto the one level. That also frees me up then to place some embellishments around in and under and create that dimension which I really love on my layouts. As you saw when I was putting that foam on, I was trying to keep the foam toward the centre of the main photo so that I did have that flexibility of tucking things in behind that uh, base page or that base 
um, that I've used to map my photo with there. How cute is that Say Cheese speech bubble there? I know it's quite dark and really punchy, but I just couldn't help it. I thought it was fun and, you know, we were. this photo was taken. We were all celebrating having a wonderful creative day and we're holding up some of the work that we had um, created and made during that sort of scrappy day. And so Say Cheese was, I thought, perfectly on point for that um, for that speech bubble and this to celebrate this moment here. So here I am just playing around with all the beautiful ephemera pieces, trying to set them out in a way that I feel really comfortable with. And, um, and yeah, so I'm just using some wet glue now just to adhere them down. And um, I'm not, I'm not overly you know, super worried about it. I'm just placing them down. I know it's going to all work together and I'm really trying to stick to making sure that my belly, I have a little bit of a gap either side of the page and I'm trying to evenly have that, have that gap um, just to sort of make sure it's balanced and in the center. So as you can see, I'm just putting these embellishments down and I actually haven't, here I go, peeled off the foam tape. Um, but I knew by just me sticking those few elements down, I had a bit of a guiding post then about where my main cluster was going to main cluster was going to sit. Um, yeah, and the beautiful thing about using a bit of a wet glue is that you have a little bit of time up your sleeve to manoeuvre things around. Purchasing a wet glue that dries clear is always a wonderful idea. So if you end up sort of moving things around and you get a bit of adhesive off to the side, you know it's going to dry clear and won't even be seen at all. So it, so it's really, really, really um, a handy little product to have there, especially when you just want to sort of glue stick, glue stick and not over, overly think about um, your product placement. You just know it's all going to work because it's... Vicky Booten and she and all her embellishments match and they all just work don't they um so yeah and now here I am just thinking I want to put one of these gorgeous gorgeous holographic words um just to add a little bit of sparkle to the layout and um so the word inspired there jumped jumped out at me and you know I guess when you're with create your fellow creatives inspired is definitely um, a word that really is on point there and and hits home and and yeah so here I am now just having a little look around in this beautiful main kit is there anything else that I want to use these are really cute little puffy stickers and I saw, I, you'll see me trying to fiddle around here. I really wanted to use them. I'm really trying to say to myself with these kits because I know how frequently they come. Like I know, a month sounds like a long time, but before you know it, there seems to be another kit on your door and your, your heart's exploding when you're opening the box of new goodies and you just want to play with them. So I'm really trying to um, kit bust as I go along each month and really use up these beautiful products. So I had all these circles and I had these flowers and I thought, well, they're going to be really perfect and I'm going to put them into the centres of the flowers just to make an extra little bit of dimension and an extra little bit of texture to the layout. Um, they're really cute. They're even got some dimension on some of the ones down the bottom. They're even sort of embossed as well. And I thought you can't get, you can't go wrong with embossing and puffiness all in the one pack. I just think that's fabulous. So how are you guys going with your scrapbooking? I know that I've had to take a little bit of a break from YouTube just for a minute and just sort of dive into getting inspired and back on track again. And, um, and so I, I apologize, I apologize for that because I know that a, a number of people have been messaging me to check on me. Um, but I just needed a, a, a time just to not have any, to create only for me and, um, to create things that will just stay private for me and that did use up some of my YouTube creating time so I apologize for that but I'm back and I can't wait to start really sharing more regular content with you and what a great way to start off with this beautiful um, this beautiful main kit challenge for the Hit Kit Club.
so I'm here I am I'm just going to finish it off with adding some journaling and some of um, I just wanted to put those extra puffy stickers on <laughs> and some splatters of black paint just to give it that arty feel and it's all wrapped up there so thank you for stopping by um, if you're really interested in a fabulous kit club I want you to check out the hip kit club all the details are in the comments in the description below so stop by and check that out and I'll catch you guys again soon with another layout take care bye